Okay, so in this video, we're going to find all roots of the equation uh, x cubed minus 18 equals 0, and we're going to write them in complex form here. So uh, the first thing we'll do here is I'm going to you know, think about this equation here a little bit. If we were to you know, work on this equation, we could add 18 to both sides, and that would give us x cubed equals 18. Well, if we were to take the cube root of both sides, we would get x equals um, 18 to the one-third power. But, so in this case, what we want is we're looking for um, the cube roots of the number 18. Okay, so in this case, uh, a couple things. We'll have to write uh, 18 in polar form. So we can write 18 as, well, 18 plus 0i as a complex number, uh, or in complex form. So it says we would go over 18, but we don't go anywhere on the imaginary axis. So our r value would be 18 squared plus 0 squared, the square root of all that. And that's just going to give us an r value of 18. Our angle theta in this case would just be 0. So now we can fill in our formula, r cosine theta plus i sine theta. So it says we can write 18 then as simply as, well, r, which is 18. And then we would have cosine of 0 degrees plus i sine of 0 degrees. All right, so now we'll use our formula here. So we just want to find the, the cube roots. Okay, so in this case, in our formula, since we're using cube roots, we would use n equals 3. Okay, so we've seen this formula a few times now. So it says our formula is we would take the cube root of 18, and then we would have cosine of the original angle, which is 0 degrees, plus 2 pi, or equivalently 360 degrees, times k over n, which is 3. And then we'll get the same thing for sine. We'll get sine of 0 degrees plus 360 degrees times k all over our n value, which is 3. And again, since uh, n equals 3, our k will have to plug in k equals 0, 1, and 2. All right, so now it's just simply a matter of kind of plugging in the k value and, again, just cleaning it all up. So k equals 0. If we plug in k equals 0, we'll just be left with the cube root of 18. Um, we would have, well, cosine of, if we plug in k equals 0, 360 times 0 will be 0, plus 0 is 0, over 3 is 0. So we're just left with cosine of 0 degrees plus i sine of the same thing uh, when we plug in k equals 0 we would just be left with 0 degrees well that's going to be the cube root of 18 um, cosine of 0 degrees is just 1 sine of 0 degrees is 0 so we'll be left with the cube root of 18 as one of our values, which hey, that you know almost seems like a lot of work to get that right. Um, I think we knew that anyway. So let's see. So uh, let's get a value here for this. So 18 raised to the one third, so 0.33333 is what I'm uh, doing here. So remember, this is the same thing as 18 to the one third power. Um, I'm getting this to be roughly equal to. 2.62 after rounding it out. So that'll be one of our solutions. Okay, so we'll have to do the same thing, but now we'll just have to go back and plug in k equals 1 and also k equals 2. So let's do the k equals 1 case next. Alrighty, again, we're having fun here. Uh, k equals 1. If we plug in k equals 1, again, we'll get the cube root of 18. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cube root of 18 is roughly 2.62. Then we would have cosine of, well, 
0 degrees plus 360 times 1, so it'll be 360 degrees over 3 plus I sine of 360 degrees over 3. So that's 2.62. That'll be cosine of 120 degrees plus I sine of 120 degrees. Let's see, I think we can get uh, cosine of 120 degrees and sine of 120 degrees. That'll be in quadrant two. The reference angle would be 60 degrees. Um, so let's see, it's 60 degrees. We're at 1 half and root 3 over 2. So that means that 120 degrees um, will be at negative 1 half and positive root 3 over 2. So it says we'll get 2.62 uh, cosine of 120 degrees will be negative 1 half plus I sine of 120 degrees. Sine of 120 degrees is going to be root 3 over 2. And we can always, uh, again, just clean this up a little bit. This is just negative uh, 0.5. Let's see, uh, I'm going to turn root 3 into, a, uh, I'll approximate that. So. I'm getting 1.73205. Uh, if we divide that by 2, I'm getting roughly 0.866. So let's see. If we take 2.62 uh, and multiply it by negative 1 half, that'll give us negative 1.31. Um, let's see. We'll have plus. So 2.62. 2.62 multiplied by 0.866. I'm getting that to be 2.27 um, after rounding times i. Alright, so there's another one of our solutions. Now we've just got to do it one more time, except we'll use k equals 2. So again, I think, you know, again, kind of a awkward formula maybe the first time you see it. But really using it isn't too terrible. It's just, to me, it's just long, but that's okay. Um, so let's see. When we plug in k equals 2, we said the cube root of 18 was 2.62. Then we would get cosine of, well, let's see, when we plug in 2, we would have 0 degrees. We would have 360 times k equals 2. So 360 times 2 is going to be 720 degrees over 3 plus I sine, the same thing, we'll plug in K equals 3. Um, I guess it's really maybe, uh, or excuse me, we're plugging in K equals 2. So uh, 360 times 2 will be, again, 720 over 3. Okay, so this is going to be 2.62. Um, so let's see, I think we could have even done... Uh, so 360 over 3 would have been 120 times 2. It looks like we should be getting cosine of 240 degrees. So 720 over 3 will be 240 degrees. That looks okay to me. Plus I sine of 240 degrees. And well, the same thing. Um, let's see. So if we think about 240 degrees, that's going to put us down here in quadrant 3. Um, I think we would use our same reference angle of 60 degrees, but now we would get negative 1 half and negative root 3 over 2 on our unit circle. So cosine of 240 will be negative 1 half plus I times sine of 240 will be negative root 3 over 2. And well, notice it's the exact same values we had a second ago. Um, it's almost the exact same thing, except now, um, instead of having positive root 3 over 2, we have negative root 3 over 2. So after we simplify, we'll get negative 1.31 minus, let's see, we said 2.62, we said root 3 over 2 is 0.866, we've changed the sign. So instead of a positive, we would just end up with a negative 2.27 times i. So there would be our other complex root uh, in this case.